Okay, so last week, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, I go to breakfast with on Friday uh, if I've got the chance. We, uh, Gary that is, Gary, we went to a new toy store that opened up last year and I didn't even know it was there in Portsmouth, Cotton Road. It is called the Vintage Toy Monster and it's amazing. And it got me thinking to my own collection, which you can see behind me is my collection, a lot of Star Wars stuff. Uh, and obviously I like DC and Marvel and all that kind of stuff. And I've got a lot of stuff that I never have out, a lot of old Iron Maiden figurines and stuff that I never have out. They're boxed or were boxed. And I thought about trading them in or at least getting rid of them and seeing what else I could buy. And my other great passion, uh, especially in films, is uh, Aliens and Predators. Uh, and when we went in there last week, I saw a few bits and pieces that I thought might go well as a nice little collection. Perhaps up there, if I move that stuff down and out of the way somewhere. I know it won't be quite befitting the aesthetics of the whole thing because it's all currently Star Wars. Uh, but I think it looked really good up there, especially with the light and stuff like that. And I went to uh, the toy store this morning with my bits and pieces that I wasn't particularly uh, using or showcasing at the moment. I'm not too worried about getting rid of. And I found a few bits and pieces in there that I traded in with. Uh, here's one of them. I'll pick it up nice and gently. Look at that. So I managed to get a good price on the stuff that I took in there this morning. Uh, certainly uh, uh, around about the same kind of price I was expecting for the stuff I had. And I've got a few bits and pieces in there. That's only one one bit of uh, quite a few bits and pieces I have to put out. Uh, so I'm going to set them up now and show you what I've got. Let's do this. Oh, I forgot to mention. I've also got Dutch. <laughs> Let's do this. a nice little collection uh, yeah the one that I really like the best and, and I'm a big big alien fan uh, was the Pred Alien I saw that in the shop last week and that's what kind of got me interested in potentially purchasing some bits and pieces uh, we obviously having stuff I swapped it out mainly uh, yeah look at these I love this predator look at that Half his skin is like see-through, so it's like he's coming out of his, uh, his camouflage. It's awesome. And then we've obviously got the ones from uh, Predator 2. Uh, uh, it's obviously the Predator and that. I think these two probably go together, I imagine. The Dutch. The Dutch. Oh, so happy with this little collection. And there's, there's more. They, they did have some stuff in there boxed. They got the like the the, the collection. Like the, like they had the, I think... Uh, the the hundred hundredth edition uh, box that was uh, a bit too expensive, and I want these on display, man. Anyway, I love that. Awesome. Here's collection, babe. Come on, look. Look at that. Oh, and get Stan for that one, please, babe. Very wobbly, be careful, it fall over. Uh, but yeah, look at all them. <laughs> Bad, huh? Give a stand off there. Only the first predator. That's in the middle. Just about. Nice. I've got you other men that need to go in there. Other men? What? Yeah, they can go in there some other time, babe. Come on. It's alien versus predator, man. Let's just keep one thing at Star Wars. Okay. 